Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm going to make a soap with three fragrances. I'm using a 25% water discount and three colours. So my base is going to be white and I'm going to use a bronze mica and a chartreuse green sparkle mica. And my three fragrances, two are from Scent Perfique, two are from Scent Perfique, one is from Grace Fruit. So I'm using uh, green moss and leaves, whiskey and tobacco vanilla, which I believe is a Tom Ford dupe. It doesn't smell quite as good, but it's, it's pretty good. But that one is a little bit fast when it's in soap, so we'll have to sort of uh, be aware that that might happen. Um, I've got a new lens, I'm on a new 50mm lens, so while I make the soap I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see the actual soap being poured into the mould, which I think is always a nice look. So it should be sort of a little bit more cinematic. So let's see how we do. Okay, so I'm just going to pour in my lye into my oils. I've just had to turn the lighting off above me because it's fluorescent strips and it creates like a shaky light. So I've just turned them off. I have got a lamp here, but I'm gonna have to get some lighting sorted. I think you can buy a good sort of studio light for about 60 quid. So I'm gonna look into that next. All this expense just to make videos because my phone's microphone's rubbish. Okay, I'm gonna stick blend so we'll edit this out. I'm just gonna pour off a bit into each of these jerks. I don't want too much because I just want to get a swirl just enough inside. So about, I'd say around half a jug, something like that. I hope this uh, video is looking cinematic. <laughs> I looked into camcorders, which are great because you don't have to mess with them, they just do everything for you, but you don't get a nice sort of hazy picture, which is what I like. So I wanted to um, invest a bit more in my DSLR for filming video. There's pros and cons for both, for sure. I've been looking at that much that uh, it's got a bit ridiculous, actually thinking I've made the wrong choice and then no, I've made the right choice, I've gone round and round in circles. I'm just going to stick blend again. Okay, kind of ready to pour. I think I'll bring you in a bit closer for that so you can see. Okay, I'm just going to put some fragrance into this white portion just into the white portion because now we're thickening up too much again see we've got an accelerator Just do some pours throughout this if we can. That'll be that grace fruit fragrance because I know the other ones don't do that, but it's still workable. Thankfully, it hasn't like gone quite as bad as the other one did, and I think we'll still get a swirl on the top. You wouldn't think that a tobacco scent would accelerate either. I don't know what it is about their oils, but I've had this trouble with them for so long, and I use them because they make some really beautiful fragrance oils, but there's this issue. <laughs> And I just don't know why so many of them do this. It's strange. I'm just gonna try and swirl that a bit just so it's not so uneven across the top. Don't want it to look too bad. Just gonna give it a bang. 
I'm just going to get the rest out. Just drizzle over the top. See, it hasn't come out too bad and it smells incredible. But that uh, yeah, issue with the acceleration really ooh, kind of just ruins your soaping time. You know, when you really want to get into making a soap and enjoy it, it just makes the soap making process stressful. <laughs> I don't like being stressed when I make soap. It's like supposed to be a relaxing art form. <laughs> and thanks to Grace Fruit, <laughs> it's kind of ruined. But I'll forgive them for the fragrance smelling so good. I think it's a dupe. The tobacco vanilla I've used is a dupe of the Tom Ford fragrance, I think. And it is good. It doesn't smell exactly like it, but it's got hints, hints of it. Because the real deal is so, so nice. So I'm just going to quickly go over that once more. And it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it could have been worse. So there you go. I will be back to show you the cut tomorrow. A little clean up there. Okay. Okie dokie. Hi everyone. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I've just cut a few of these off camera because I realised I hadn't put the microphone on. So <laughs> the next video will be a little bit more professional. I will try. Okay, so this came out pretty good. So we've got some nice drop swirls in here, which um, I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting it to have gone as deep into the soap as it did. But I did kind of try and pour the batter higher than usual because of it thickening up. So it seems to have come out okay. It's very uh, camo, this soap, and very... Uh, doesn't Somebody asked on Instagram if it's um, quite masculine or blokey was the question. And it kind of is blokey, but it's kind of like a, I don't know what the fragrance, the green moss and leaves is. I'm not sure. I think it might be a dupe of something, but it's quite perfumey, but rich. Kind of like the Gothica soap I made with the Clinique Aromatics dupe. It's kind of, it's that vibe, if you can, if you know what I mean, which I'm sure you do. It just smells sort of perfumey, but rich and deep. So it would be suitable for men, as well as for girls. So I quite like this. I think it's come out pretty nice for one that thickens up so fast. So I'm not too disappointed. I'll just chop another one. See, some of the green went right down in there. So all was not lost. Sometimes when you have your plans for soap and they go wrong and you feel really disheartened, don't, because sometimes the next day you come to them and you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. So I've uh, had so many soaps that have gone wrong in the past and I've learned not to get too fussed if, you know, something's just not gone as uh, you wanted it to or not gone to plan then. But yeah, this actually looks quite nice. Something that I wouldn't be able to achieve again, I'm sure. Oh, that one's a bit a bit too green, but it's actually, yeah, it's actually kind of nice. I like the other side as well, where it's merging the two. So yeah, camo soap. What it looks like, I'm not going to call it camo soap, it's a bit obvious. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but that one's nice as well, look. Pretty. Vacant. Okay. So I'm going to leave some pictures at the end so you can see some nice close-ups and I'll be back for the next video. I don't know what I'm making next. I've got a whole list and a whole bunch of fragrances to use up, like I said, at the start of the year. So by the end of the year, I should have used <laughs> nearly every single one that I've got in stock. We shall see. But hopefully I can uh, get through them all, or throw away the ones that I really, really don't like at all, because there's, there's a few of them. Not too many, but there's a few. It's just not worth keeping them if you don't like the scent. So, I will be back, and have a good day. See you later.